The global pandemic has caused over 278 million cases, which led to over 5.3 million deaths. It has changed the way we live and do things, and one of the ways to combat it, develop new services and technologies. Even though South Korea has almost 52 million people, it has become a global leader of controlling and overcoming the pandemic, and it now has the best infrastructure in the world. In fact, Korea has been creating a huge number of non-face-to-face -face services and technologies to help make the world a better and safer place to live. With the new technologies in this fourth industrial revolution, the non-contact and non-face-to-face -face digital economy has been growing exponentially. And because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the new technologies have to be developed to keep Korea competitive and set the example to many countries around the world. The Korean government has been providing support to various industries to help bring these technologies to life. In this video, I wanted to show you 12 innovative projects that make life better in a contactless era, and they are supported by the Korean Ministry of Science, ICT, and NIPA. The Home Fitness Platform is a children's home fitness program using the IP from a popular global character. As social distancing has become norm due to the prolonged COVID-19 pandemic, kids haven't been able to attend certain places such as daycare centers, kindergartens, cultural centers, and after-school academies. Of course, this becomes an issue as everyone, but especially young people, need to remain active to stay healthy. Therefore, they have a service to help kids stay in shape using popular global characters and next-generation deep learning AR technology to take advantage of the trend toward a contact-free industry. The latest AR technology enables a teacher's movements to be copied and used by popular characters. This platform will allow teachers to continue teaching and students to continue to be healthy during these contactless times. It will bring an added value to children and families all around the world as the project continues to press forward into the next generation of home fitness. Next up, Realistic Content Experience Platform and at the core of it, a contact-free theater system that you can experience realistic content in your motion simulators but with your car. In other words, it is a drive-through based realistic content experience platform development project. Due to COVID-19, the demand of indoor rides, arcades, kids' cafes, and theaters is falling. As people are reluctant to use multi-use facilities such as amusement parks and theaters, it has become very difficult to find cinema-type theaters that still use 4D and VR. Therefore, the need to develop a new contact-free realistic content platform for consumers is emerging. In line with the contact-free era, the company created a video and simulator experience using vehicles and drive-in theaters for small-sized cars. The theater system will use a 270-degree curved screen to show content while a customer's vehicle will be safely fixed to a 5-axis simulator for motion linkage between the content and the simulator. During these quote-unquote contact-free times, a number of rarely used parking spaces such as the ones at shopping malls, highway rest areas, and camping sites can be transformed into new business spaces and this is one of the ways to make that happen. A community hospital integrated smart mental care service utilizes biosignal-based contact-free VR content. There are many problems in monitoring mental health in the community due to restrictions on medical services and movement caused by COVID-19 and imbalances in medical infrastructure by region. With the expansion of the service industry, mental health care for workers and mental health measures for the elderly and the socially disadvantaged are needed at a national level. Therefore, a service for a community mental health monitoring system and an integrated project between local communities and hospitals through contact-free VR smart mental care services has been developed. The first step is to evaluate mental health by remotely analyzing brainwave measurements and data through contact-free programs. The second step is to manage big data by helping patients deal with depression and stress through VR content and storing treatment and training data. 
Based on the data accumulated in the previous step, training VR devices and VR content were developed to increase scope of mental care for patients who are elderly, suffering from postpartum depression or struggling in other ways due to COVID-19 pandemic. The advancement of LifeSci Platform Services project will help upgrade the virtual model house experience through the CAVE system using Virtual Convergence Technology XR content. Most of the domestic housing sales are carried out before construction, so consumers sign contracts based on model houses and printed materials without seeing them in person. Therefore, this new project will upgrade the virtual model house experience through the CAVE system using XR content to provide this contact-free lifestyle service for real estate through the development of virtual convergence model house technology. During these contactless times, the digital transformation of the model house industry is expected to accelerate. Thus, this XR-based industrial innovation is expected to play a leading role. The AI-based autonomous driving robot development project developed an integrated foreign currency management system. The current robot technology is used only in limited industries such as logistics, medical treatment, and concierge services. Therefore, one company developed an autonomous driving robot equipped with a living finance platform program that can provide foreign currency financial services such as multi-country currency management and a module with a language recognition program using an artificial intelligence-based global language recognition API. If this robot is used in airports, ports, and railway terminals where there are many travelers, it can provide financial services with a higher level of accessibility and convenience to global travelers. It can also contribute to the development of related technologies and industries for mobile robots with fintech. The development of VR-based rehab equipment project aims to develop customized VR-based rehabilitation equipment for pediatric cerebral palsy patients. Since treatment requires face-to-face -face contact and other measures, which is hard to do during the pandemic, one company has developed a customized rehabilitation program that uses light and sound. Specifically, they developed a large VR all-in-one device, an age-customized program, a portable small VR general-type device, and customized programs for patients with cerebral palsy by age and for other related rehabilitation patients. These VR-based products and services are expected to improve satisfaction with patient treatment and greatly contribute to the improvement of service quality and profits of medical and rehab institutions. Infectious Disease Response Robot Project aims to develop a transport service for quarantine facilities using an AI-based autonomous robot, which is very important in the era of COVID-19 because there has been a growing need to prevent the spread of infectious diseases. One company produced a prototype of an AI-based autonomous driving robot for the delivery of linen and injectable drugs such as narcotics and anti-cancer drugs managed by medical institutions. In addition to this, they installed a finger vein authentication system so that autonomous robots can safely deliver and receive goods, enhancing security and safety. They have also developed a monitoring system that can prevent and manage infection and contamination. As a clean medical institution can prevent the spread of infectious diseases in medical institutions, this autonomous driving robot that utilizes Korea's advanced robot technology is expected to greatly contribute to preventing the loss of medical personnel nationwide due to secondary infections. A non-contact safe-touch technology project applies cutting-edge hologram technology for use in elevators. Elevators provide optimal conditions for viruses to survive and thrive given their closed environments. And riders who use a non-contact touch technology that isn't intuitive often cause elevator buttons to malfunction. This project developed and produced an elevator button system that can be applied to all floors by securing the technology to increase the refraction angle of glass, the core technology of holograms, while improving image quality. 
Thus, they plan to distribute low-cost and high-quality holographic elevator buttons in Korea and abroad and later expand this technology to cope with more general automatic door buttons and door locks in offices and homes. This company will commercialize a contactless product for elevators that uses space touch screen technology to input a 3D hologram keypad image by one's hand without directly touching the mechanical keypad in a contactless situation. The non-face-to-face -face evaluation solution development project aims to prevent fraudulent contact by test takers without an on-site test proctor. Since the e-learning has grown drastically, it has become necessary to prevent cheating while taking tests. Therefore, one company has developed a verifiable non-face-to-face -face evaluation system by applying technologies such as identity authentication, device control, image analysis, and AI to fundamentally block fraudulent and cheating that may occur during a non-face-to-face -face evaluation. Specifically, they developed a facial recognition technology, electrocardiogram identity authentication technology, eye tracking technology, machine learning technology, and an automated question setting system that prevents cheating and other fraudulent acts. With this new technology, they expect to reduce the cost of money and time of large scale testing and become a global standard by providing a universal educational platform. The Last Mile Robot Delivery Project is a smart restaurant service based on a serving robot linked with point of sale. While the spread of non-face-to-face -face culture due to COVID-19 has led to rapid increase in the demand for food delivery service, it is difficult for the existing face-to-face -face service industry, especially domestic small business owners and restaurants, to respond to changes in the environment. Thus, one company conducted a project to develop an indoor autonomous driving-based serving robot platform that can safely deliver orders to customers in a restaurant. Specifically, they developed an indoor map generation technology using a LiDAR sensor, an interface for modifying map details and setting major movement routes, and an interface for setting up metadata for each store. To recognize objects and avoid collisions, they have developed a motion obstacle detection and emergency stop module using LiDAR and RGBD sensors and software for researching the movement route. South Korea is expected to secure various intellectual property rights for serving robots based on POS linkage while becoming less reliant on foreign imports. Another innovative project, development of VR treatment equipment for patients of traffic accidents. More than 50 million people worldwide have suffered physical trauma from car accidents. Post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD treatment includes psychosocial intervention methods such as drug therapy and psychotherapy. Among them, a technique that requires stimuli control, which requires the therapist to consistently focus the trauma on the participant, causes side effects as it reminds the participant of the accident. Thus, they created something to use cognitive behavioral therapy based on virtual reality to help accident trauma patients. Specifically, they developed virtual reality-based ICT psychological care content that alleviates PTSD after a traffic accident. They created a PTSD monitoring and self-care service app. Next, they developed traffic accident VR content and a vehicle-to-person and vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle traffic accident PTSD patient treatment manual. And finally, they upgraded the PTSD VR for vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle traffic accidents. This will lead to better psychological diagnosis monitoring, prevention, and treatment. Thus, this PTSD VR digital service is expected to play a major role in the digital therapy. The non-face-to-face -face immersive AI multi-platform project allows you to experience music education and evaluation in the area of singing, playing, and ensemble playing in your daily life. Due to the spread of the non-face-to-face -face culture, which is stemmed from the COVID-19, the edutech market is expected to grow significantly. 
Therefore, they developed and commercialized a music education and training service platform that connects studios, individuals, and educational institutions live. First of all, they developed a non-face-to-face -face AI realistic studio that enables ultra-low delay performance, synchronization, and remote collaboration by means of 5G remote ensemble playing. Second, they developed a remote non-face-to-face -face music education platform. The software features personal practices, non-face-to-face -face remote lessons, broadcasting, and AI music analysis. Third, they developed the XR Music Class, which is the best art education solution that will narrow the gap between students and public education that has been cut off. With a 360-degree multi-sensor camera evaluation, it is possible to embody immersive virtual music classes, artificial intelligence band playing, as well as telepresence remote guidance. As you can see, South Korea plays a big role in developing new technologies in the eyes of global pandemic and related life changes, and it has become a global leader thanks to its advanced infrastructure and government-backed projects. Which is your favorite project mentioned in this video? Tell me in the comment section down below. Also like the video if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, it was Linus, thank you for watching and see you soon.